Lambda is shaping up to be a good alternative to Ethereum. That's what we're talking about today. My name is Hunter, and I make videos all about crypto. So if you're interested in this space, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my content. And if you're on library, go ahead and follow me. But make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you don't miss out on anything. Now, as I mentioned, today we'll be talking about Lambda. Uh, now, Lambda in this case, it's a new type of blockchain that is solely based on improving the developer's experience. Very interesting. I don't think I've seen a blockchain that's kind of made that claim before. Uh, but they're, they're cl their code is 100% written from scratch to make sure that all aspects are designed with ease of use in mind. Uh, now, if you watch some of my other videos, ease of use is my... Mm, my bread and butter in crypto guys crypto is so complicated you need to make it easy for regular people to use and even developers i like how they know how they realize that now kind of going actually more on the developer side of things uh they say here that developers are able to receive 90 percent of all transaction fees that are processed through smart contracts within their platform so yes you can make smart contracts on here uh and this is great because this allows you know, pretty much you, the developer, to generate revenue automatically from any application you build, you know, any dApp you build, really, uh, without them having to add a back end or, you know, have like payment processing or any, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, it's pretty much natively within the actual blockchain itself, which is great. Again, great incentive to bring builders onto their own, uh, your own network or blockchain. Now, if you, if you don't notice by now, these guys are 100% focused on getting developers, right? Uh, so, if, I guess the way they see it and I guess I'll throw in my own opinion here. Um, their their product, or I guess their focus, or their market is the developer, right? Because they know that the, the developer will be able to build fully fledged ecosystems, uh, a fully fledged ecosystem around their blockchain or coin. Uh, and then obviously, since the developers are building things, they're building it for the masses, people within crypto who want to interact with these smart contracts. So they're essentially allowing the developers themselves to market their own blockchain. Think of Ethereum, right? You know, Obviously, a lot of people know about Ethereum now, but you know the fact that there's Uniswap on there, there's uh, different types of uh, Crypto Kitties, like those two alone are pretty much like endorsements for Ethereum. You know, of course, if it wasn't for the huge fees that, that are on it right now, but they're endorsements for Ethereum, right? So I think Landon is kind of going that direction, and they're specifically targeting developers for that reason. So I think that's a great idea, by the way. Now, let's go into uh, some of the tech stuff. Faster transactions. So here, Landon is essentially a reactive blockchain, meaning that transactions are completed in under a second for that instant finality, right? Uh, how? Well, we're not going to get too crazy here, but they use a different encryption algorithm called ED25519. Uh, and also, they have a different messaging library than most other blockchains as well uh, called 0MQ. Uh, now, Bitcoin has, I think, SHA-256. Ethereum has uh, Kachak-256 as well. Um, so two different types of encryption, but you'll see that you know most blockchains I think have have the, uh, the secure hash hashing algorithm, which is SHA. Uh, I've never seen this ED one, so that's probably why. <laughs> but really interesting. I, I I am definitely interested in the faster transactions and how they're able to do it. So that's pretty cool. The next thing are smarter smart contracts. Now Python, which is what this blockchain is mostly built on, is the fastest growing language in the world. Um, as per Google. Now, because of that, dApps should be able to be developed four to five times faster uh, since you won't have to learn a new language uh, if you're a developer, right? Like Solidity, or for Ethereum, you have to learn Solidity, right? I mean, and you don't know Solidity if you don't know like blockchain, pretty much. Like Solidity is specifically for Ethereum. So, you know, these guys over here at Landon were like, all right, let's make it, let's make it like an easy on-ramp for not only the users, but for the developers. Because again, they know that you need projects built on your platform for people to use it. So, um, again, great idea there. Ease of use is always top of mind, if you ask me. And the last thing is going to be lower fees. So, here they're kind of taking some benefits from the delegated proof of stake, uh, where nodes have a fixed stake and equal power. So, we can kind of compare it to Bitcoin or any other big blockchain where, essentially, you know, for the most part, you have these big mining factories taking all the hash rate, uh, in this case, Bitcoin, uh, so that if someone like me wants to go ahead and start mining Bitcoin off my computer, no shot. I'm not getting anything unless I join a pool. So I guess they kind of see that issue and they're like, all right, people have to have same weight and same power. No matter if you have this amount of money or this amount of money. So I like that. Uh, not to mention, nodes can even be voted out if they're bad actors. So definitely a fan of that. So next, I wanted to go ahead and bring up the uh, Landon wallet, which is actually available for download uh, right within the Chrome store, the Chrome web store. 
And here you'll be able to interact with the current testnet that they have live, as you can see at the top here, uh, and even uh, interact with some dApps that they already have as well, which we'll touch on in a little bit. But the cool thing here is that, again, you can already interact with the network itself, the test one, of course. I'm using smart contracts, testing them out, and seeing how they uh, run you know, in real time, which is awesome. You'll hear over here, you can go ahead and swap any tokens that you have with uh, you know, ERC20 ones, with the testnet ones. I think this is going to be mainly for when the mainnet comes out. But, you know, nonetheless, you can do that there. And anything else, if you're more of a developer, you can go ahead and click on any of these buttons if they mean anything to you. Me, I have no idea. So, uh, but pretty cool how they already have this live. Again, all this stuff is really built out very well. Uh, and to me, that's just the coolest thing. <laughs> so now we'll actually go ahead and jump into uh, Lambda World. I was able to go ahead and fire up this little MMORPG game that they have available on their website. <laughs> but, uh, you know, far cry from RuneScape, of course, but the point here is to prove that they can quickly conjure a game uh, just like this, uh, you know, built off of their blockchain. It's, actually, it's only a testnet right now, so it's pretty cool that they have something like this running completely on the blockchain. Like, this doesn't work unless you have the Chrome extension. It's really cool. Um, so just thought I'd throw that in there because I thought it was interesting. Uh, I'm sure no one really knows too much about it anyway, so why not? Uh, and the last thing I did want to touch on, uh, for the most part, was actually going to go ahead and be the uh, Telegram. So let's go ahead and bring that up. Now, the Telegram itself, uh, there, there was actually a couple things. Number one, they're actually currently working on a Uniswap clone. Uh, if you actually go ahead and take a look, I can kind of look it up again. Here we go. So they mentioned that, and, and as a background, if you're not familiar with Uniswap, it's essentially an automated market maker built on Ethereum. Uh, the current problem with it right now is that the transaction fees are through the roof. I had to pay about 20 to 30 bucks the other day just to buy a little bit of Tau, you know, a little bit of land in Tau. So it's pretty nuts. Um, now they're mentioning that, you know, they're creating their own, uh, you know, and you'll actually be able to wrap tokens so that you can transact ERC20 you know, tokens on their own chain, uh, you know, once it comes out. So you wouldn't have to be paying those exorbitant transaction fees or gas fees. Uh, but meanwhile, you'd still be transacting the same tokens. And if they can do that, whoo, crazy. And this is just something they announced on their Telegram, too, so I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, but even going more off the Telegram, these guys are so nice, bro. Like, if y'all are watching this right now, shout out to you guys. Um, I, I pretty much came in here the other day, and I announced that I was going to go ahead and make a video uh, just about, you know, this project, uh, mainly because I wanted to know more, more, you know, a lot more info about it. Because don't get me wrong, like, this stuff is a little bit complicated, uh, but they really, I really appreciated the um, support that they kind of gave. They said, you know, some guy reached out to me too. He sent me some info um, about what was going on, um, and you know, like what I could probably touch on more specifically. Uh, but I met, I made it clear that I wanted to make it so that this video made sense to most people who watched it. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and actually touch finally on the price because who doesn't like the price? Let's see if the price is right, baby. Whoo! All right. So Landon Tau, as you can see, look at that, it's got a nice little slide. As you can see, it's a uh, top 400 um, on CoinMarketCap, and currently it's on a little bit of a slump, a little bit of a slump. Uh, luckily, a boy bought on the dip, on the dip. Um, but, in me, listen, if you ask me, if these guys are able to do all of what, essentially, the um, they've been uh, building up to, and the, these guys have been around since like, 2017, uh, technically was when like, they really started uh, developing stuff. Uh, then this is a no-brainer, guys. I mean, listen, no financial advice, please. You made it all the way to the end of the video. None of this is financial advice, bro. Don't do anything of what I say. Uh, anyways, but yeah, I mean, to me, dude, like, this, this is pretty crazy. Currently, again, they operate on the ERC-20, uh, sorry, on, uh, on the Ethereum network. They are currently an ERC-20 token. Uh, however, they will be porting over to their main network on the 16th of September. So if you have any ERC-20 coins or tokens, you can actually exchange them for the uh, you know the actual coin that will come out in a couple days. So obviously, these guys have been doing a lot of work. Uh, they've been out for quite some time. And the all-time high was actually, what? The all-time high was about a dollar and, uh, about a dollar and 20 cents. And currently, it's right around 10 cents. So could easily 10x from here. Um, and, but not to mention, that's only assuming they hit the all-time high again. Personally, seeing all that they're working on and seeing that it uh, looks like a lot of this stuff is already in motion, it's a no-brainer to me personally. Uh, but, you know, I just thought I'd make a little video about these guys. I really appreciate, uh, you know, all the support that they kind of gave me, especially when I was trying to do my research on this. Uh, but last two points, I love that they target the devs um, when they're building the stuff out. From a marketing perspective, I think it's an amazing idea. You're targeting people that are going to be the platform makers. 
you cannot have a successful platform if you don't have good products on it. So they know that they need to target people who will develop a good product to get the consumers like me or you, for example, right? So I love it. Second, ease of use. They're using Python for a reason and they want to make it so that it's easy to on-ramp people who already know how to code instead of making them learn a new code uh, to just integrate to their own platform. So amazing ideas, guys. I think, again, I low key, bro. Listen, this is this is gonna moon, bro. All right. I'm sorry, Taco. If you saw my last video, I, or the video before that, I made something about like you know, Tao and Taco. Listen, fuck off, Taco. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I should be cursing, but whatever. Since you made it all the way to the video, <laughs> make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future vids. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Will you be participating in their mainnet launch? I personally will be. I have already uh, thrown a little bit of cash uh, at some Tau. So, you know, we'll see. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.